In this video, I'll show you how to perform two chemistry tricks with pennies, the first being the hollow penny. For this experiment, you will need post-1982 pennies because they contain a zinc core. Here you can see that this penny has a zinc core, which is visible since I sanded the outer layer of copper around the rim of the penny. Be sure to sand off a small layer of copper on each penny to expose the zinc underneath. You will also need a strong acid, such as hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. Here I have 31.45% hydrochloric acid, purchased as muriatic acid from the hardware store. Once the acid is added to the pennies, hydrogen gas is produced, which are the bubbles shown, and the corresponding zinc salt. Since I'm using hydrochloric acid, zinc chloride is produced. If you are going to discard the solution of zinc chloride, then you can have an excess of hydrochloric acid. If you are going to keep it for the next experiment, you should have an excess of zinc. You will know that the reaction has completed due to the absence of bubbles. Here no more bubbles are forming. Also a few of the pennies are floating, indicating that they are hollow. Now I'm going to filter out the pennies and retain the solution for the second part of this video. Here I have an Erlenmeyer flask, which the solution will be contained in after filtering. The solution being filtered out here is a solution of zinc chloride, which is needed for the next experiment I will show. Here are the pennies after filtering. Here, let me zoom in on that. This is the solution of zinc chloride. Save it if you're going to perform the experiment in the second part of this video. Here I have a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate, commonly known as baking soda. I'm going to add the pennies to the solution, and the sodium hydrogen carbonate will react with excess hydrochloric acid and zinc chloride solution left over on the pennies. Here are the pennies after being rinsed. Just let me dry these and I'm going to go in for a close up. So these look like normal, unaltered pennies, with one little difference. If you try to tear them apart, they'll rip like a piece of paper. A cool trick to show your friends. In this part of the video, I'll show you how to make a penny which seems to be made of gold. Here I have the original solution of zinc chloride produced in the first experiment and a beaker to transfer the solution to. And here I have a hot plate. Any suitable source of heat will do as long as it gets the water to a boil. I'm going to place the beaker on the hot plate.
Here I have a strip of zinc metal obtained from the inside of a lantern battery following Nern Rage's tutorial. I'll simply add the piece of zinc metal to the solution. And here I have a penny. No changes made to the penny, just a regular shiny penny. Make sure the penny is touching the zinc in the solution. I'll turn the hot plate on now, and here is a close-up of the penny. You can see bubbles of steam forming on it. Here is the penny after a few minutes of leaving the hot plate on. You can see that it's changed to the silver color of zinc metal. That is because it has been plated in zinc. I also flipped the penny over to ensure both sides of the penny were completely plated in zinc metal. I'll remove the penny from the solution. And wash it. And here it is. It is clearly silver colored now. Here I'll show you how to turn the silver penny to a gold penny. Here is the silver penny which I am holding with a pair of pliers. To turn it to a gold penny, you'll need an adequate source of heat, which will melt the zinc and copper together to form a brass layer, appearing to be gold. Since my hot plate doesn't heat up hot enough to melt the two together, I'm using a microtorch. I've sped this up for the sake of your viewing pleasure, and you can see that I'm not keeping the torch on it for one long consecutive period of time, simply to not allow the penny to melt. Now you can start to see that the penny is taking on a golden hue. So here's the penny after heating. I'm going to adjust the light so you can get a better view of it. Now you can clearly see the golden shine the penny has. It really does look like gold. And that's how you make a golden penny. Here are three pennies, the first one being a regular penny, the second a silver penny, and the third a golden penny. Here's a golden penny, the back of a golden penny, and one more picture of a golden penny. Thanks for watching.